Hello, so I'm on my holes, but I can't resist um, a church <laughs> to give you a little tour of one. So I'm here at uh, Elliburn, which is not very far from Pickering in North Yorkshire, and the very lovely church of St Hilda, which is a, an Anglo-Saxon foundation. So I'm heading up here from the south. We see the first bits of Anglo-Saxon evidence here are a couple of beautiful carved crossheads. There's one here with interlaced decoration on it, which must be uh, 10th century, I would think. And then another one built into the wall here. This is by far the finest, lovely interlaced cross at the top there. And what appears to be a dragon on the bottom there too. Aren't these lovely? They really are very special indeed. So these have clearly been found during restoration work. Um, notice here an arch, we'll see more of that on the inside. There's a little uh, south chapel here. Um, anything else lurking around? Oh yes, yes, telltale Saxon coining. That's what you call um, the um, corner joint of a wall. It's, it's coining, when you, uh, the uh, stones you see there. Um, there's another little bit of Saxon um, carved work there too. So coining. Uh, Saxon or, well, I should say, really Anglo-Danish, isn't it, really, up here? Um, uh, crossheads and other evidence of Saxon work on the inside, too. So let's come in through the south door. Nice stout oak door here. It's a very cool interior. Let's look at this, isn't this charming? Really is a delight. Modern furnishings, but very traditional in form. Really rather nice. Benches with acorn bench ends. You can see here there's a 15th century arch in the south wall, which must have led to a chapel of some description. And then above that is a blocked Anglo-Saxon window. There's been a clear story above as well, inserted. So a blocked Anglo-Saxon window. And then we come to the chancel arch, and this has a 14th century or 13th century head to it. it looks 13th century. And then, We have this, the lower part of the arch is also Anglo-Saxon. This fabulous, rather rough, but rather fabulous incise decoration. And these little swirls that are like Cumberland sausages. Um, a bit of incised decoration that like teeth and zigzags. Very simple stuff. Very rough and ready. Looking east in the chancel. And on the other side, we have this, or incised decoration. More zigzags. Another Cumberland sausage swirl there. A couple of Cumberland sausage swirls. Very simple and straightforward. So, what date? Pev Snow reckons where well, he hedges his bets on this. <laughs> well, only rightly, I think, probably. He says Anglo Saxon could be either side of the conquest could easily, in such a rural location, be either side of the conquest. But it's still rather lovely to see. So there you have it. Let's just turn and have a quick view west. Oh, I'm noticing the chancel here as we're here. I hadn't noticed that before. 13th century window with above it a blocked Saxon window. So quite a lot of uh, evidence of Saxon work here, late Saxon work. And then looking west towards the west end of the nave, 
at St Hilda's Church in Ellaburn in North Yorkshire.